As technology changes, the way the data infrastructure is built changes as well. How do Meta and other companies build their systems and scale their software? How does AI change the way the infrastructure is built? Join us as we hear from CQ Tong, Senior Director at Meta. This article gives an overview and the insights of Meta's hyperscale infrastructure. So the hyperscale infrastructure is closely relevant to our daily lives. For example, the typical apps you use like uh, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, Google Maps, as well as watching videos online, all of them are supported by a hyperscale infrastructure behind the scene. So in the infrastructure, there are uh, data centers spread out globally, running millions of servers in the data center, connected by thousands of miles of fibers. That's the hyperscale infrastructure powers all the you know, computing activities that typically serve you. So let me give you a story about how the hyperscale infrastructure enables the apps we built. Now, if you recall, in summer 2023, Meta released a app called Threat that has grown very quickly. Over just a matter of five days, they had reached the 100 million users. This was the fastest growing app ever in human history. The reason that the Threads app was able to grow so quickly was because of both the technology and the culture. Meta's culture really emphasized moving fast. The infrastructure teams were given notice just two days in advance to launch the app. Meta's move fast culture is supported by our infrastructure's technology, particularly continuous deployment and the serverless platform enable our product engineers to move very fast. So it's well known in the industry that the continuous software deployment enables productivity because the code written by engineers can get into production in just a matter of hours. That's what we have accomplished, even at the scale of more than 10,000 engineers. Serverless platform allows our product engineers to write the code very easily without worrying about any of the infrastructure aspect, like how to deploy the code, how to scale up the infrastructure. All those are entirely automated. Another important aspect of Meta's engineering culture is to use a shared infrastructure, which means that we try not to reinvent the wheels and the one team will use the shared component and infrastructure from other teams. A concrete example is that the Threads app reused the shared infrastructure from the Instagram app so that we could develop and launch Threads very quickly. Historically, Meta's infrastructure was highly optimized for traditional workloads. With the surge of AI, the requirements has shifted significantly. For example, the requirements on the network uh, has become much higher, which require a lot of network bandwidth. So we are evolving our infrastructure to support AI. In addition, one interesting aspect of a Meta's approach for AI is to design the system end-to-end, -end, from data center, hardware, software, all the way to machine learning models. We do end-to-end -end optimization in order to get the best AI performance. A major motivation for us to write this article is to share back to the community. Over the years, we have learned a lot from the community to help to build Meta's infrastructure. We have also learned quite some lessons and knowledge through the process. We want to share that back to the tech, uh, community. Learn more in Meta's Hyperscale Infrastructure, Overview and Insights, a research article in the February 2025 Communications of the ACM.